This week's blog post is about myokines. Myokines are small proteins that are released from muscle cells uh, as a response or during exercise, mm. um, during contraction. Um, and their role is as a sort of messenger or a cell sigla signaler. So they tell um, themselves uh, and other cells well, what to do. If you were to think of exercise as, as um, a pill, like you were to take as a medicine, then and you were able to open that pill up, think of myokines as the active ingredients inside that pill. So exercise is like the thing you do, but those active ingredients that are causing those positive effects of exercise are myokines. And they go within muscle tissue and all around the body, sending their positive, largely anti-inflammatory message. Um, which really helps reverse so much of the damage that is done by today's lifestyles. Today, we know of about, around about 100 different myokines that are released from muscle cells. This blog post that we've done, we've selected the 17 um, most well-researched, and I would say the most important and most understood myokines today. If you think of muscles, we, we kind of think of muscles, uh, the, the, the nervous system acts on a muscle and it creates movement, it produces force. Um, and in the past, we've often thought of um, muscle tissue as sort of a dumb, um, just a set of fibers that, that are res respond when they're called upon. What myokine science is starting to show us and has done since about 2008 is that actually muscle tissue is more than a, a, a dumb set of fibers. It is a secretory organ in and of itself. So it releases these powerful myokines that go around the body uh, telling other cells in the body what to do, how to respond to certain um, physiological situations. They work in three ways. Um, the first way is autocrine, which means that, say, this muscle cell produces a myokine and it has a receptor on its surface uh, which it sends that myokine to, so it's telling itself to do something. The next way that myokines can communicate is they'll come out of the cell, the, the muscle cell, and they will go to other local muscle cells, cells close by to it, and tell those cells what to do. That's really cool and it helps with sort of repair, regeneration, um, hypertrophy, uh, things like uptake of glucose into muscle tissue. Um, those are all the kind of signals that those myokines send. Next though, and the really exciting part, is that um, there are some myokines which are referred to as exercise factors which can actually get into the bloodstream. So they go outside of muscle tissue and become endocrine. So they work their way into the bloodstream and go all throughout the body and send a message or a signal to other organs in the body, sort of like bone, um, liver, um, other areas, fat tissue, um, that make these huge positive ben beneficial effects. So. The, in the biggest possible picture, myokines have shown to have a really positive impact on things like the metabolic diseases that we're faced with a lot in society today. So type 2 diabetes, obesity, um, very good at staving off things like age-related muscle loss, sarcopenia, increasing um, bone density, and a couple of myokines have also been shown to have a really positive impact on reducing or reversing tumor growth in, ca in certain cancers. So they are really powerful things. What happens typically with most myokines uh, in exercise is that you create a boost uh, in the number of myokines that are being produced, uh, that are in muscle tissue, and then with some of them, the, the exercise factor myokines, that go into circulation, into the, into the bloodstream, into plasma, and go around the body, oh. um, affecting other organs. So by engaging in high intensity exercise, by being physical, you are stimulating the release, you can control the release of these, of these myokines. And then it's not just this impact that that might have whilst you're doing the exercise and immediately afterwards. By engaging in regular exercise, you can have a chronic effect on myokine 
levels, so over a long period of time, which is starting to be shown to be, be beneficial as well.